build a solar-powered car from the ground up and drive it 1,100 miles across the United States? That was the year-long mission for a group of pioneering UT students in 2010. One of the first things we did was, you know, just to build the chassis. We cut the pipes and had them professionally welded. We made Kevlar boxes, you know, it was just kind of in bits and pieces all over the floor. And we put a lot of functionality in it too. We keep adding new things like the touch panel, uh, rear view camera. We've got battery packs, which are charged through photovoltaic cells on the top of the car. The sun charges the battery through these solar cells. So this car is completely off the grid and has little to no impact on the environment at all. Yeah, it's really fun to drive. It's, it's like a go-kart and it handles really well. All of the information that's going on in the car is sent through a 900 megahertz data modem to this computer. Uh, it's got a range of several miles. We've also got GPS system enabled that can give us kind of a secondary feedback of our direction, our speed. We've got sensors on our tires that wirelessly communicate with our central computer system. So the people in the base station here at the, at the base camp can see everything that's going on with the car. With speeds up to 50 miles an hour, over seven grueling days, the Samsung Solarine became the first UT car to complete the American Solar Challenge. It just demonstrates how much solar power can do with as little as one kilowatt of panel and some batteries. So it's really a privilege to be able to, to get involved in this kind of project. Any student, regardless of major or degree, are welcome to join this organization. If you work hard enough, you could be the architect of the next car.